guys, remember, this week's Naruto Manga Chapter 626, so let's get into this. So this week's Naruto Manga Chapter, I'm going to rate it an okay. I'm going to rate it an okay, because there's little things I, I'm nitpicking on when it came to this chapter, really. I mean, there's just, like, the fight, for instance. The fight with, between Madara and Hashirama, it, it didn't really go into full detail. It just kind of just bypassed most of it. Like, it, I don't know, it's just, I wanted to see more, so that's, that's one of the things I had a problem with. And it's just the pacing is a little fast. So I was expecting at least for them to have at least two more chapters for the flashback. But it ends here, basically. They go back in the present time within this chapter. So I feel like the pacing was a little too quick with this chapter as well. So, yeah, I mean, it, that, was, that, was, that was just a little odd to me. And, yeah, I mean, like I said, I, I'm not thinking of an okay. It, it, was, it wasn't bad, but it wasn't, like, a really good chapter or anything like that. So an okay rating for this um week's Naruto chapter, and I'm not really going to go into uh, a summarization or anything like that. I want to touch upon a few things that was in this chapter, like, one is the fact that the other villages praised the Leaf Village and how they ran it, so they Im they imitated them. That That's that's very weird. I, 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 didn't, I didn't expect that. Like, why? Like, I mean, yeah, I guess he actually finally got the world to come to terms and come to peace and stuff, so I mean, that's, that's a good thing. He finally did it. It actually worked. I'm not sure exactly how he did it, but he did it, and it's just like they're praising him, like, oh man, like how he runs this village, just, we gotta do that, we, we gotta do it the same way, it's just, that's really weird, so basically what they're saying is that the other villages didn't, like, their, their way wasn't as good as the Leaf Village's way, I, I don't know, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a little odd, it's a little, it's just, a, it's, I find it it's a little odd, it's just, it's, it's interesting, but it's, it's odd how that, how it all um, goes, goes to play, so, it's just, it's just this one thing kind of, I just kind of noted on this chapter I needed to touch upon, because it's just, it's weird, and then the fight, between Madara and Hashirama, like I said, it was just basically from what we left off from the lap, like last point where we saw them fighting, where we saw the um, Buddhist statue coming in, you know, you know all that stuff. Yeah, that's basically where we left off from the fight then in this chapter, and all it showed was Buddhist statue broke through the Sasano, which whoa, that was <laughs> with the, with the heck, and it's just like here's the thing, like we saw there's a panel, there's a panel within this chapter. This is one of the great parts of this chapter, though. Like, the thing is, Madara spammed Biju Dama of Raji Shuriken bombs. And he did, like, five or six of them. What the heck? That's like, he used a thing, he used a night to do that. That was crazy. Like, what the heck? Like, this, this is, like, this is some OP stuff going on here. And it just, they leveled that area. It was just, it was ridiculous of how much crap was going on. Hashirama was just on another level because he stopped that and broke the Sasano all armor. That's... How'd you do that? How? And it's just, it's, it's like, what the heck? It's crazy. And then he ends up um, releasing the Nine Tails from Madara's grasp, basically. He actually used the um, B, not the Biju, but the uh, Buddha statue to remove the Nine Tails from Madara, basically. And like I said, is that's really all that happened after that? And then they like, kind of skipped the rest of it. And I'm like, oh, come on. Like, I wanted to see the full spectrum of this battle exactly. What what else can they do? What what are they capable of? Because we need to see their fullest strengths and, and stuff like that. Unless we're gonna see it later, you know what I mean. But I, I'd like to see just how strong they were more. Like I mean, we see how strong they are. They just they freaking OP like. But I wanted to see more. That's, that's the thing. I just wanted to see more. Because then after that, basically the fight was like basically almost over. Hashirama and Madara kind of do like a little sword slash together, and then uh, Hashirama falls down. It seems like he's he's losing. You know, Madara's all like. <laughs> Look, you on the ground. What you gonna do? I'm the winner. Like, you know, he's he's saying, because before he was on the ground, he's like, what you gonna do? We can't do nothing. I'm like, what the heck? But apparently that was a wood clone, and Ma and uh, Madara gets stabbed in the chest. In the chest. He's, he's done. He's done. So that's apparently how he died at that time. Though, there's one thing I find a little odd about this, because the thing is, how did he survive that? Because the thing is, he, he looks dead there. So, the question is, how did he survive such a lethal blow to him? And the thing is, I'm thinking, this is my theory of how he survived this. Because there's this panel within this chapter, is that we see his eye. And the thing is, he could have used his internal Magekyo shining gun to reverse time, because you know he can go back and forth in time, right? So he could have released the Nine Tails um, back into, well, he could have put the Nine Tails back into his control, but he didn't do that. You know what I mean? So it was weird how he didn't, he just, we saw his eyes, the panel of his eye, but nothing happens in that moment. So I'm thinking at that moment when he did that, he put, he placed the Genjutsu on Hashirama and Hashirama was just facing the Genjutsu the rest of that time, I'm guessing. 
and that's how you basically end up beating him or killing him. And I, but the thing is, that's not actually Madara being dead there. I'm thinking, I mean, like the thing is, that's like the only thing I think of to how he survived this. Otherwise, how did he survive? You know what I mean? So I'm, I'm just, I'm a little, I'm a little confused on that. But I'm thinking, I'm thinking, he placed him under a Genjutsu at that point in time. At least that's that's, that's my assumption, though. So yeah, and basically at the end of this chapter. We get to know the reason or what um, Hashirama believes what a shinobi is, basically. A shinobi are people who endure to achieve their goals. But depending on what they choose, their goal may change, like Madara and I, basically. You know, there's different paths that you can take. So, you know, that's the, that's what a shinobi to Hashirama is. Like, that's what that's what he thinks. So, the one thing I'm also really curious on since this chapter ended and we're back into present time, what is Sasuke going to think about all this and his answer you know, his question getting answered that what a shinobi is here. Like, is how is that answer going to really change or affect um, Sasuke in any way? You know what I mean? Like, I would believe he would probably feel more for maybe Madara in a sense. I, I mean, you know, he is Nuchia, but I, you know what I mean? I, just, I, don't, I don't see how this is really going to affect Sasuke exactly on what he's going to do, you know? So, I mean, as good as the flashback was, I don't know how this is really going to change Sasuke in any way but maybe it can so I'm, I'm just looking forward to seeing what's going to happen next with that so with that being said leave a comment below and tell me what you think of this week's Naruto manga chapter like it like this review and subscribe to my channel if you want to see some more Naruto reviews from me so it's been the Breakmaster and until then people break out